hello friends so today we are doing this uh, remove duplicate from sh shorted array second so what is given in this question is like we if we are having an integer array nums which is shorted in non decreasing order so we have to remove some duplicate such that each unique element appears at most twice like that element can appear one time and at most twice uh, and uh, one time or two times but not more than uh, two times so the solution which we need to implement is uh, we have to implement that in place like we don't have to use any new space we have to utilize the uh, space or the nums array which is provided to us in the form of input and uh, the other point is that like the relative order of the element should be kept the same like relative order is what they means with relative order is like if we look at this example now uh, then 2 is after 1 and 3 is after 2 so whatever the solution we are uh, implementing the relative order like the solution should have 2 after 1 only and 3 after 2 only so this relative order of the element should be preserved um, and the and this is specifically given here do not allocate extra space for another array like we have whatever the operation we are performing we have to perform those operation in place within the same array provided to us in the form of input and uh, what we have to return is we have to return a value for example let's say k is such that the first k element of this array which is provided to us is our required solution so we we don't have to return any new array uh, we have to return an integer value k such that the first k element of that array provided to us are the required solution uh, for this question so now looking for this uh, uh, solution approach for this question is like we are given a nums array like this uh, 0 0 1 1 1 uh, 1 2 and 3 3 so what we what is the desired output we are having is 0 0 then 2 1 because we are having 4 occurrence of 1 so we at uh, at most 2 1 uh, 2 uh, two, num uh, 2 times any element we can have so 2 times 1 we are having then 2 is single time then 3 3 so this is the required output so the length of this we have to return so for example the length of this solution is k so we have to return the value of k and what will remain after this element like some element will be left so we don't have to care about what is remaining after k so yes so like this uh, so first of all uh, what we can do is like we can if uh, there is a privilege to use extra space so what we can have we can have an extra space an empty array so where we can put uh, element from this nums and we can check if this element is uh, like almost present and present almost two times uh, then we can have this element we can have uh, that element uh, in this area otherwise if it is more than two times then we can ignore that element so but it is specifically mentioned in the question that we don't have to use any extra space so we won't use this approach so like uh, what another approach we can use is like two pointer approach so what two pointer approach is like we will have one pointer let's say i that will iterate from starting index to the end of the index and another pointer say j that will act as a placeholder like it will tell where the required element need to be placed like the element uh, the, the right position where it need to be placed so it will indicate uh, by the uh, j L, uh, j index so yes uh, we will what we will do now we will uh, first of all uh, we will start uh, by placing both the j and i at initial index that is j so like this is placed now what we will do like for the first two like look at this case for the first two index first two index that is 0 or 1 if there is two occurrence of any element that is good if there is one occurrence of any element like two element are uh, two uh, two element have uh, occurrence so that will be one one time so that is also scenario like if in this case if first two elements here are zero zero that is good from our side if this was zero one that is also good if it is was one one that is also good so first two element will always be at their same position so what we will do now we will uh, check uh, then uh, we will re we will keep first two element as it is now for like uh, we will for i is equals to 0 then j will be uh, the, uh, j will be at uh, 0 only so for first two element like 0 and 1 we will have these two element within their place so like j will be here in third iteration and i will be here in third iteration so what we will do now now we can have at most like one occurrence or either two occurrence 
so what we will do now for the current element which is uh, pointed by i we will check if there was a previous uh, like uh, we will check with the previous two elements like uh, if this element has already occurred we will check with this j minus 2 why we are checking with j minus 2 because if i j minus 1 is having the same value and i is currently having the same value then at most two occurrence we can have so this is the valid scenario so that is why we are checking with j minus 2 because if these this element and current uh, uh, element which is pointed by i are having the same value that means two elements are already present uh, which are having the same value which is currently pointed by i that is why we are checking it, the, it with j minus 2 uh, so it indicates like if j minus 2 index is having the same value which is pointed currently pointed by i then the two element uh, which is pointed by i are already present so that means we have to ignore the current presents uh, current present of that element which is pointed by i so like we will check if j minus 2 is having same value as i then we will <coughs> ignore if it is having different value then what we will do we will have uh, i a value at the place of j so i will be the uh, so i value will be at j place so it will remain the same then j will increase and i will increase now again we will check with j minus 1 so it will be j minus 1 is 0 and 0 and 1 are different so j and i will uh, have the same uh, value then j will be incremented and i will be incremented so now look at this case th that we were talking about why we are considering j minus 2 so j minus 2 is having one value and currently i is also pointing to the element which is having one value so what we will do we don't have we don't want this value right now because we already had two value already one one has come so what we need to do we need to ignore this then i will move forward and j will remain at this position only and then again j minus 2 j minus uh, j minus 2 is one and uh, currently I is pointing to the element which is also one so again we will ignore so i will move here so now i is 2 uh, the value which is pointed by i is 2 and j j minus 2 what it is pointing to is 1 and 1 and 2 are different so what it will do we will have this i value in place of j we will have this i value in place of j so we will move this value to j position then j, j will be incremented and then i will be incremented and again now j minus 2 uh, so 2 will be here so let have this 2 here now j minus j minus 2 is 1 and 1 and 3 uh, 1 and 3 are different so again uh, j will uh, j value will be replaced by current i value so it will be 3 and j will increment and i will increment now j minus 2 j minus 2 uh, j is currently here now j minus 2 value is 2 and which is not equals to 3 so again j value will be replaced by i as value and i will be out of the loop so this is our required or the desired solution so we will return the value of j uh, now j or j plus 1 so if we look at the question now so whatever the value we are returning here is not included like is not included in the loop it is uh, the loop is running uh, ignoring the key value so we will return j plus one value so whatever the value of the j will be uh, there we will return plus one value so this is our required solution so now look at uh, we will look at its implementation so first of all two pointers If now what we have seen if i value is equal equals to 0 i at 0 index or i is equal equals to at 1 index so or nums of j minus 2 is not equals to nums of 
i so whatever we have look for the conditions we have written those conditions here if j in these cases we have to what we have to do nums of j is equals to nums of i then we have to increment the value of j and value of i will be incremented in the loop so what we can do we can write in the next line j plus plus one plus plus or otherwise what we can do we can have here only post increment operator so what it will do first it will use the value of j then it will increment the value of j by one and by the end of the loop we will return j so uh, as we have uh, considered like we need to return j plus one so when it will already be here like in this case if we look so j will be here uh, so when the value of i was replaced by j so j will be uh, I, I this value will be replaced at jth index and j will be incremented so j will be pointing to this so it has incremented here so we, that is why we are returning only j so first we will run this solution it is uh, uh, yeah successfully compiled then we can submit the solution so yes it is successfully submitted so now regarding time complexity so what will be the time complexity like as we are traversing this nums array one time from zero to end of the array so its time complexity will be capital o of n now what is n n is the size of nums so this is the required solution with the implementation so thank you for watching